Joining us now, back with us is Congressman Brian Stile. A lot of backlash over this, Congressman. It's good to see you. The Secret Service detail protecting Hunter Biden. We've got reports more than $30,000 a month they're spending to rent out a swanky mansion on the Malibu coast of California. What do you say to this story to protect Hunter Biden? Yeah, there are a lot of questions about what's going on in this administration. We're seeing the news coming out of the hunting hunt biters, Biden's laptop, and it really just shows that the mainstream media continues to take what the left is saying, hook, line, and sinker. Whether or not it was back years ago that you could keep your doctor, the hunt, hunt, Hunter Biden laptop story, or more recently that inflation is temporary and transitory, the mainstream media continues to parrot the lines from the left, what we need to do is get on with the work of the American people. This, Senator Chuck Grassley says Hunter Biden could have given China an opportunity for blackmail. We don't know. The media is now asking questions, but they're not asking this. Did Joe Biden make any money off of Hunter's shady deals overseas? What do you think with you know China or Russian oligarchs? Well, I'm not shocked the mainstream media is not asking tough questions of the Biden administration. But I can tell you the moment Republicans take control in the House of Representatives, there's going to be a whole series of investigations of this administration, everything from the laptop to the botched, ev botched evacuation in Afghanistan. We need to hold this administration accountable for what they're doing, whether or not it's there or whether or not it's their inaction and unwillingness to secure the border uh, between Mexico and the United States. Hunter Biden had zero to no track record for getting paid millions of dollars like he did by the, in these overseas business deals. Watch Senator Chuck Grassley, watch Chris Christie, watch the White House Chief of Staff. Listen to this. What I and Senator Johnson have done at this point is bring out the facts and the bank records that prove that there was a close relationship between Hunter Biden, maybe James Biden, and uh, business people in uh, China. What's concerning to us is, uh, is there any sort of uh, uh, blackmail opportunity uh, for China against uh, the United States because of those close re working relationships? Is the president confident Hunter Biden didn't break the law? Of course the president's confident that his son didn't break the law. Uh, but most importantly, as I said, that's a matter that's going to be decided by the Justice Department, by the legal process. It's something that no one at the White House has involvement in. The New York Post had it right, and the Washington Post and the New York Times had it wrong. Now, but you can decide, everyone will decide what the motivation for that was. Okay, how can Ron Klain quote Biden as saying his son did nothing wrong when the president said he knew nothing about Hunter's business dealings? This White House makes tons of claims that are not backed up by facts and evidence. I think what we're going to see is following Republicans taking control in the United States House of Representatives, an opportunity to truly hold this administration accountable and investigate all sorts of questions, including the Hunter Biden uh, laptop, but also including what's going on at the border of the United States of America, what we need to be doing to get inflation under control, uh, a whole host of questions that the mainstream media is giving a complete pass to on this Biden administration. Yeah, a year and a half later, now the New York Times, Washington Post, CNN, they're acknowledging Hunter Biden's foreign business deals raise legal issues. We've got a grand jury probe investigating tax issues, potential money laundering, potential violations of foreign lobbying laws. Watch Andrew Yang on this. Watch HBO's Bill Maher. This is part of the erosion of institutional trust, where one side feels like the media is on their side. Right. Uh, and it does seem like this Hunter Biden laptop story did get buried because of the timing. I mean, it was coming out uh, during the, the height of the election in 2020, and they just did not want that out in the mainstream. It looks like the left-wing media just buried the story because it wasn't part of their narrative, and that's why people don't trust the media. You know, when we started covering it, months before the election in 2020, uh, we got pushback on the story. We were reporting that as a story that this was what was going on. But now, you know, you got Senator Ron Johnson. He's blasting back. He's saying, I've got a lot of questions for Biden. So now we're hearing that James Comer of the House Oversight, he wants to pull in to hearings. He wants to subpoena Hunter Biden right now. Is that going to happen right now? I don't think you're going to see subpoenas coming through a Nancy Pelosi-controlled House of Representatives or a Chuck Schumer-controlled United States Senate. But I share the questions that my home state senator, U.S. Senator Ron Johnson, has. We have questions of this administration, and there will be investigations of the Biden administration the day after Republicans take control of the House or finally regain control of the United States Senate.
The question is, did Joe Biden make any money off of these deals? That's a question we're not going to know the answer to until we retake control in the House of Representatives and we can properly investigate not only this issue, but countless other issues that this administration has been engaged in for now over a year. And the American people are getting clobbered every day through higher prices. They're getting clobbered through our failure to secure the border. We need okay. to get to work and it's going to require us taking control in the House. Congressman Style, thanks for joining us. Good to see you. Okay.